Trust me. I'm dead too now. <laughs> Funny oh shit, I'm crashing. <laughs> no! Oh no, God. Hardware device removed, huh? Hardware device? I don't know, I'm actually reading the error now. Did you download um, the game onto your traditional hard drive, or did you put it on like? Uh, a yeah, it was my stage? normal hard drive. Oh, okay. Oh, now Chrome is acting up. Okay. I get the feeling that we can't talk this crazy lady down. I think we're gonna have to either incapacitate Just her. Just kill her or... and protect the other person. Because the I problem is, is, like, we can negotiate with Bolt, but not Spark. So either way, we're fighting Spark if Bolt isn't gonna win that argument. Yeah. I could. He seems like he's pretty damn incapacitated. I don't think I could heal him. Can I heal him, Devin? Uh, yeah, but it wouldn't bring him able to fight. Okay. But is he, like, on he, the edge of death, or is he, like, just... Yeah, he, like he's... Bit off or something. Yeah, he's super fucked up. Maybe a heal his way might not be a bad idea. Hang on, somebody has a solution for this. Let me go look at it real quick. Okay. I have to say, I have been really enjoying this session so far. It's been Yeah, me too. Good. I appreciate the fucking, like, development you put into this, Devin. Like, this is a well-thought-out, like, sequenced, uh, scenario. It's fucking cool. Yeah, I oh, yeah. Like, the I'm glad you guys went the directions that I was hoping you would, because I was like, oh, god, this is gonna get difficult. <laughs> I felt a lot of times, like, alright, like, well, like, naturally we do this. Oh, that, that's where Devin wanted to go. Fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really enjoyed that I tried to talk to these people, and it didn't work, but it ended up going in that direction anyway. That was interesting. That was a fight. I feel like it, 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 Like even if we had somehow successfully made that role in that di diplomacy check, we could have just gone to this phase. Yep. But instead it happened through combat. That was cool. Yep, same thing would have happened if you went through the back door. What would have happened if we had actually beat them? <laughs> um, then you would have just got your contract money. Oh? But yeah, you could have come through the back door and all the wolves out front would have had to run in. Kind of thing. But also they could have passed the other rooms and brought more. Talking an initial fight against these two super wolves, that would have been tough. <laughs> I think it would have been easier because we could have concentrated everything on Yeah, and that, that was going to yeah. be, you know, spoilers, that was going to be one of the other conditions was if one of them hit 50%, Bolt would have jumped in and said, let's stop. Oh, okay. okay. So the plan was for you to actually never probably kill them. And if you did, then, wow, that was impressive. <laughs> <laughs> but to have that, like, mid-fight story yep. progression is... That's cool. I like that. <clears throat> is Nick in yet? He's fixing uh, something. I'm doing so. a DirectX thing that somebody recommended, so... Okay. Okay. Let me give this another shout. But also, I, I'm turning man, it back I, up to ultra quality, because that doesn't seem to fucking matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although, you seem to crash a lot less often when it's lower. That's true. That's true. We couldn't even get him in the damn game before. Yeah, your first, like, it's like, load up, in, crash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could very well happen again, but I am gonna see if that has any effect. 
Director X can be a pain in the ass. I went through the same shit with uh, the new Deus Ex, and I still couldn't get it to run smoothly on, like, the graphics where I wanted it to be at. Because after a certain point, games. it just looks like shit. <laughs> it really does, and it's kind of hard to be like, ah, oh, I can't. I can't suspend there disbelief anymore. I can't pretend like I'm in the world. Yeah. Whenever oh, he's cool. Sorry, Especially when all the cool oh, shit is like. Sorry. <laughs> I we were talking. You. We were talking like, man, like I really hope it's just an internet problem and not fucking Nova chewing through his oh, cables. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we said that. <laughs> that's been it's... something. That's been a thought that's on my mind before. That like someday she's going to. And in fact, she has chewed through a Cat Five cable oh. once. Oh man. Dogs I've restrung it. I actually just have to like mount it properly now. Whose turn is it? Uh, we're waiting for Nick to come back. Yeah. I think it's the wolf's turn. It's the big bad and then Tim. Yeah. All right. I think I'm actually in. I heard the music. That's cool. I do a lot of shit with DirectX to get that shit to even run with uh, Deus Ex. I hope. That updating the, I don't actually even know what it is. Uh, DirectX, like, is it just like a, 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 a like, um, it's like, like, a a, like an, an engine or something, like an Unreal Engine, or what is it? Oh God, I could totally it's screw up like a the uh, explanation of this, but I think it's like Windows uh, graphics interface. So, OpenGL is a graphics library that's open source, and it basically talks to the graphics card and provides an interface to that. DirectX is Windows' proprietary version of that. There you go. Right. Um, I, I followed that at a very minimal level. But thank you for trying! <laughs> 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 it, it is, it, it is kind of like their driver. It's their operating system interface to talk to the graphics card, and then you have the drivers behind that, I think. Cool. Ah, you missed! Oh. oh, bleeding physical armor, nice. Woo! Oh, we are fighting. My fucking magical armor is okay. not gonna help much. Yeah, man. No one. Take her out. Take her out, Tim. No one. No one. Ooh, nice. To die. Nice. Should we try to not hurt these tiny wolves? I mean, I feel like we should. If we're gonna, if we're gonna, like, uh, what do you call it? Let's focus um, down, Spark. Yeah. Intimidate. Sure. If we're gonna. Spare any of them, though. If we spare Spark, that's a pretty huge negotiation to token. Like if uh, we're able to be like, look, like we took this person down who's a fucking nutcase, but is your second in command to make this work. Yeah. To try to incapacitate him. Yeah, if we could do that, it would be bring amazing. him down low and then stop. Not at the price of any of your lives, but if we could do it, it would be good. <laughs> yeah. So don't heal Patrick. <laughs> He's on the ground. He's fake and he's dead. He's fine. <laughs> At the I'm same just time, worried you guys big... will... She's the biggest threat. It, Patrick, or Devin, is there a way for us to deal damage to incapacitate her that wouldn't kill her? Um, no. There's none of that in the game. Well, we're killing the wolf. Just get down low and then we'll stop. And then, and then make it, like, when she's injured, make a plea yes, for it. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. Be like, stand down. You will die. Spark yeah. is teeny now. Yeah, the game freaked out, and I had a recreator, and they they don't let you resize them inside the oh. actual game. So Some she's boomer. supposed to be big. I imagine her as large. And she has... Hold on. <laughs> I saw that her life is all shitty. And she has no armor. Yeah, it deleted all the... What she should have been. Just delete her and recreate her at whatever health she was at. I, ca I can't. Uh, cause oh. she was a custom made. Oh. So, yeah, it's this shit that I have to deal with now. Alright, I'm just gonna say that since her partner's out, actually her, uh, link to her powers is not as strong, so. Alright, I like that. Life. Okay, cause she killed her counterpart? Or knocked out her counterpart? Yeah. They, they, I'm gonna say they, uh, bounce off each other kind of thing. There we go. Okay. okay. That's good enough. I wish it didn't look like they were all trying to poop. <laughs> yeah, when, when they're all hunkered down, it looks weird. 
I'm glad you have armor. Oh boy. My armor's toast now, though. I can toast understand. It. I wish I wish I had physical hey. armor. My fucking magical oh, armor. Oh, was I taunted? Why am I yep. not getting yeah. to. Oh. You're taunted. But well, I'm gonna get fucked! Holy wow. shit! Wow! Did you do that? <laughs> you the taunt was me! Dude, that was the game okay. doing it! The game even being awesome then. <laughs> That's fine. Right. It's like it just chose the best course of action. Well done, game. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, alright, all right, fuck you. <laughs> I'm sleeping. Don't worry. Oh, that's you right there. Nap time. Right there. Daytime. No time. Daytime. Daytime. <laughs> Everybody has fire immunity. Who does? Uh, Spark. The wolf. Oh, yeah. It's Spark does. Yeah. Are we focusing but it down doesn't Spark. have air immunity. I could just shoot lightning at it, or I could do an AoE that hits all three. But it won't even matter because she's fire immunity. You'll want to be careful with the AoE because we're going to say Bolt is still alive, but if he gets hit by stuff, he could die. Oh, yeah, good point. So by the way, I can't remember if I told you guys this, but I started watching Stranger Things season two, and it's pretty awesome so far. Yeah, dude. Isn't it? So good. I'm excited to finish the season. It's, it's one of those addictive shows. Nice. Yeah. How did you light me on fire? They're all warm. If you <laughs> lit, lit Patrick on fire. <laughs> you weren't. You weren't lit on my screen. I'm sorry. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna armor and frost you to make up for it. There you go. <laughs> I I destroyed all your magic damage and then I put it back. Got spark. Took you on. I'm gonna, as I'm shooting the fire out, I'd like to say, like, oh, why can't you fuckers just talk? <laughs> the crazy animals, man. Oh, what the hell? Silence Ooh. blocked by magic armor. All right. Ooh. Thank God. <laughs> Alright, Patrick, you got this. One shot her ass. Alright. <laughs> oh, damn it. Dagger, I gave you Patrick. I gave you two, didn't I? Nice. I thought I did. Nope. Was that no when we were fucking either. around? Nice, Tim. There you go. Oh yeah, girl. It's on like Donkey Kong. Like Cheech and uh, Chong. Mmm. Mmm. Watch out for the fire. You all in on this, motherfucker. <laughs> Kill that guy. And is it also gonna take fire damage next turn? Yeah, I will kill go. him. Nice, good job. You can try to move and up. And encourage everyone. Yes. Well, that'll hurt everybody. Uh -huh. I think. Nice. So encourage strikes me as really good. Is it? Is it as good as it seems? I use it every time I see that we're low. So. Seems great. It's a plus one to every attribute. Can't be bad then. Yeah, seems really good. She's pissed. Tim might get attacked, I think. So if you're a chameleon, they can't attack you, right? Oh, shit. Yeah, 
That's right. Come at me, bro. Okay. Just kill I the. Just go uh, after uh, Spark. Yeah. Spark yeah. only. Cause... I just go after yeah, Spark because the, the other die. one's gonna die. Yep. Magical armor. Ooh, got regen. Oof, the balls. I didn't do much go there. So far. Well, we can all just focus on that now. That cost me zero AP. Nice. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> yeah. That cost me one AP. <laughs> Get that with escape. See, that's why. That's why it was so, uh, you know, appetizing nice. to be a fucking rogue because they could move so much. <laughs> and yeah, so that, There's that fire damage. Nice job, Nick. Yay! Well, good job with the fire breath, dude. It's, I love the, the wall ability. I kind of want to switch back to my gone. fire build. Oh, no, shit! Oh, shit! Damn, that hurt. Ah, uh, you're Man. mostly... Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus. This is not me playing, by the heal. way. The AI's doing all this. <laughs> I'm just watching. Ooh, if, you you got, if you got a heal, I would heal yourself, mate. Yeah, you can knock oh, you down. Knock down. And... Nice play, Nick. Nice, nice work, play. Nick. You fucking nice rule. See, Great that's move. when you knock out their armor and you can get that shit, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, move away. I'll move just... into flank. Nice. Uh, good, good heal. Good heal. Oh, I just nail him. Please don't heal me. Nice. Oh, I'm healing myself. Please don't okay. heal me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm crippled. I, I, I'm crippled. I can't actually move. You, that's all right. As long as you got okay. life, that's fair. Good work. Do some damage to him. <laughs> uh, Thank you for knocking him down. <laughs> yeah, dude, awesome. that, that was a great, great play. Move. I, dude, because yeah, now man, like I was saying He's earlier, hit, statuses man. are huge in this game. They are huge. They win you games. Mm -hmm. Man, like it sucks that my magic armor has not been very helpful at all. Yeah, all these guys bolt. pretty much did physical. The only magic yeah. damage was uh, from Flame and Bolt. Well, which was mostly from me, anyway. <laughs> hey, all right! I'm gonna turn to a chicken, and then I'm gonna grab him. No spark! That, or whatever his name is. No spark! She pecks at your hands. She, she pecks at your hands. She's enraged. <laughs> wait, wait, I, I have perception skill, too. Or, uh, persuasion. I'm gonna try to help him persuade her and be like, um, you want death for you and your people over your own pride? I'm gonna make you guys make a roll. Here we go. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna try. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be... That sounds like an intelligent roll. You're appearing yeah. to her intelligence. Although she is insane. Alright! Jeez! Yeah. That's right! <laughs> Look at that check. <laughs> I shouldn't have made you pass because I was going to make her be crazy anyway. Or roll. Because <laughs> okay. she's pretty much in this for the death. She well, thinks we're, negotiating with the gonna, humans is evil. Then I'm going to make that abundantly clear to everyone in earshot that she's just nuts and we're the reasonable ones. That's fine. <laughs> okay. There, there are no <laughs> other wolves crippler. around right now. Oh, it's just her. Crippler. Just kill the chicken. Yes. <laughs> Alright, crippling, chick crippling the chicken. Cripple chicken. Crippling, crippling blow specifically. Can we take her? Can we bound her now at least? Bind her. The crippling only lasts for a couple turns. She would eventually get out. One turn. It's my turn. Can I spend all four of my action points to bind her? She'll sure. break out eventually. This is a this is a negotiation point. We're gonna do this. <laughs> We're no, she's she, she's in this for the death. Like <laughs> it's it's either she dies or you all die. Okay, so she does not. She does not want to negotiate with the humans. Then just want to kill her. Just kill her. Just kill her. Okay. All right. I tried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> we said we'd try to negotiate if we could. If she wouldn't listen, we'd just kill her. So she doesn't yeah. want to listen. <laughs> Spank that chicken. End it. Or ru run away. Spank it real good. Uh, da, da, uh, da. Uh, uh. <laughs> One life. <laughs> Try to pause. 
Oops. What are you gonna do, chicken? Peck at us? Haha! <laughs> Was that cow and chicken? The weird thing I'm thinking of, we're like, chicken! Cow. <laughs> then there's the red guy! <laughs> Such a weird show. I love oh that show. God. It's your turn, so awkward, Tim. Awkward. Okay. This is your last chance, Wolf. Stand down or die. She, uh, she barks at you. Alright. Bark! We gave All her right. a warrior's death. She's put down. Uh, Bolt is very much hurt. Ah, I get to loot it. And he, he slowly turns around and says, Yeah, he's obviously upset. He says, so she's dead then. Be like, I'm gonna pass Bolt really quick. Go ahead. Um, this is gonna be weird, but can I scratch you behind the ears? <laughs> no, dude, bad time. I bad really timing. hope you don't really mean that. <laughs> I'm gonna stop him if he does, God and tell him that this it. is not the time. Um, <laughs> I just but crashed. Bolt responds to uh, Spark being dead and says, "But I suppose it was inevitable. We had been fighting for quite some time about what to do, and it turns out we never would have reached an amicable agreement with the humans. I trust that you will deliver my now? message." Oh, I wait. Yes, I see. Right. Nick. I think Nick I'm got back. Kicked. Yeah. You're back. I'm coming. Okay. Uh, but he says, "I trust you will deliver my message to the village, and I hope that you come back with an agreeable term." Honor, 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 honor. <laughs> okay. What do you guys Sorry go for from here? Sorry for you your go loss. back to the town and negotiate the. Yeah. yeah. We can. We go negotiate terms with the wolves and the people. Tell the people to stay out of the woods. <laughs> Smart wolves are too much for them to handle. Yeah. Guys gotta up I think game. it's agreeable. Oh yeah. They... And we can tell them that they're no longer in danger either. The, uh, aggressive... The are free. Yeah, yeah. Everybody wins, except for, you know, the people we killed. <laughs> Loading, loading, loading. Keep the game unloading. Alright, so you walk into uh, the Shepherd's Crook. Everything is as it was. Um, imagine that there's less people in the bar now because the council meeting is over. <laughs> Stop it, Jida, so go away. Um, but you walk in, Leonor uh, greets you with a hearty Hello, welcome, friends. Are you bringing us any good news? We bring you terms from the wolves. She looks at you extremely you puzzled. Like, terms. How's terms? How how can you bring terms from wolves? These about. are no ordinary wolves. They're very special in uh certain ways. They've been gifted from the gods of some sort, you could say. She kind of raises her eyebrows and is very perplexed. It's like, I don't understand. Can't say we do that much either, but they've given ne negotiable terms and they seem fair in my eyes and in, in our friends. Okay, well, you sound just a little bit cracked out of your head, but I guess it'll assemble the council. And, uh, 30 minutes go by, and now the council meeting, or council room is full again. Um, so yeah, everyone's in there. Uh, Tillis and Father Merrickson are both in there. Uh, they're awaiting to hear what you could possibly mean by the, uh, 
whenever you explained it, the wolves were had terms. Guess I'm doing this on my own. All right. The wolves are given terms. You stay out of the woods, they will leave you alone. And someone's gonna barf in front of me. <laughs> and then, and in turn, they will stay off the roads and keep you alone. As long as you do not go into the woods and mess with them anymore. It's like, how could you possibly have terms from wolves? These wolves have been gifted from... A very special source, a god of some sort, you could say. And they've been given the gift of sentience, and they speak and have knowledge that, like you and I. The, the rest of the people in the council, when they hear you say they speak, they all stand up wide eyed, completely confused, and they start muttering amongst themselves. Uh, they essentially mention Feather Rock over and over again because he had been saying that the wolves speak and they just thought he was crazy. But now that four adventurers have showed up that they can speak, they're kind Wait. of taken aback. Because Patrick's hiding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Father Merrickson kind of just puts his hand on his beard and starts wondering. He starts putting the pieces together, how they could possibly be able to speak. And then they... He, he started putting the pieces together that his brother dealt with wild magic and the only way that the, his death three months ago would be aligned with the attacks of the wolves becoming increasingly more threatening was three months ago he put it together that the wolves must have attacked him and during a wild magic surge, Alexi's body must have been lost, and his intelligence and abilities must have gotten passed on to the wolves. This he's like, this is the only explanation for what is available or what is at hand. Does this sound crazy to you? Magic or gods? Somehow these wolves have become sentient and they have the ability to speak and negotiate terms. I don't question these things. I'm gonna say, I mean, we saw it firsthand, and the wolves spoke of a sorcerer that they attacked and who imbued them with these abilities, so it sounds exactly right. Okay. Maybe we can uh, actually hook into this energy source. Um, Tillis is obviously not impressed with this. He doesn't like the idea of the wolves being around, even if they're gonna uphold their end of the bargain. He doesn't trust them, so he's like, Well, I don't... How do we know that they're to be trusted? What if they are planning a raid right now? We don't know what they should do. We sh you should go back out there and do your jobs that we paid you to do. Technically, yeah, well, we you haven't one of paid leaders. us anything. We... Oh, that's true. <laughs> okay, he, he, has, he has the coin purse. He has, he has the coin purse, and he drops it on the table. He's like, This is what we are prepared to pay you. All 800 coin. I expect you to do your job. I'm gonna step forward, look him right in the eye, and tell him, without these terms, your people won't last the winter. It's like, that's of no consequence to me. We need to sh be shipping our foods. We need to uphold our contracts. That's what's making this town great. And then other you commoners. Will be Can I make the a. Dead. <laughs> other Your of the role. shepherds come in. Uh, you're here in both sides of the argument some people agree that yes let's keep the terms and the other sides are saying no let's uh try to wipe out the wolves while they're weak we can say we don't want to wipe them out we can see that they're intelligent and they spared us and we spared them we came to terms with them and we can see that they are capable of diplomacy and intelligence and if you aren't capable of that then you're less than the wolves you must be willing to see a compromise and a peaceful solution. Tillis kind of shakes it off, but he's like, I say we put it to a vote. I believe most of the commoners or the shepherds will be on my side. And then Merrickson steps in. He says, the, uh, yeah, Merrickson steps in and says, the terms are not unagreeable or disagreeable. They keep us safe from any of the other larger predators. They choose not to raid our settlements anymore while we just allow them to live in peace. That seems reasonable to me. 
And then, uh, Coral, our good friend over here. The quiet man, but he commands much respect from the rest of the town. He doesn't speak often, but when he does, everyone listens. He comes in and he says, I, for one, have been witness to one of the most destructive parts of the wolves and what they have brought. They have wiped out over half my flock in a single night. They left me with barely anything. Much of my livelihood has been destroyed at the hands of these wolves. But that the fact that they may be agreeable to ma maintain our town's safety, and the fact that these are sentient creatures, I believe should be weighed heavily in our decision. I believe that we should allow these wolves to live, regardless of the destruction they may have caused. And now the rest of the town starts muttering amongst themselves. And you're going to have to do some rolls to see if you I'm convince go, him otherwise. I'm going to go up to the old man and put my hand on his shoulder and say thank you. You were making the right choice. We're this, gonna... this guy? Little guy? Uh, whoever. Four out. Okay. Who's... I'm going to give you guys Four choices out. of what you want to roll. Um, I will give you a choice between intelligence or wits. Um, wow, I suck at both. Like, That's a I'd like, I'd like to make an intelligent argument that this is the right thing to do. That if the town doesn't choose to do this, they're doomed to... Pro well, I don't want to go as far as death. That might scare them. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going to change this up real quick. I will let you make an argument based on the attribute of your choice. And depending on your actual argument... You'll either get a bonus or just a zero. Ooh. You'll you'll get it, you'll be able to roll a d20 and have a zero, or you get a bonus. I'm gonna roll for constitution persuasion. and say it takes true strength and fortitude to make peace with your enemies, but it takes weakness to, you know, merely continue a folly of a fight. Okay, I'm gonna roll Nick's first. Yeah. Well, hey, all right. hey! You got a pass. Uh, Wes, Woo! your turn. Um, I'm going to uh, pull the same piece of paper out with the dead uh, folks on the, the sheet of paper. I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to say, these are the people lost in the fight when they weren't even trying to extinguish you. They were just trying to take a few cattle. If you rise against them, do you really think this list will be the end? If you want to thrive as a community, you need to learn to make the right decision. I'm gonna roll intellect. All right, and uh, every, after every time you present an argument here, they mutter amongst themselves. Yeah, all right. It's nice. not terrible. <laughs> all right, uh, Tim. Uh, I'm going to try to use persuasion and tell them that years and generations of genocide on the wolves, and that is what, you know, they have dealt with over time. They've decided to stop before they've brought that upon your village, in your town, and amongst the, all of your family. They will be stopping now, before it comes to that, and trust me, it will come to that. Whoa, nice, nice roll, bro. You rolled a 20. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, and Patrick. <laughs> Hail Emperor Palpatine. Hiding in the floorboards or something with that? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I just, you know, I'm behind a wall. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Devin. <laughs> Day <Dated> 18. <laughs> I rolled the four. <laughs> Ow. That sucked. <laughs> but to Patrick's credit, they, they just hear rumbling, so they think someone in the next room of the inn is just talking to themselves. They don't know it's an argument. <laughs> <laughs> But okay. I think they made a compelling argument. <laughs> yes. There was an argument there. They're not sure what, but they're happy about it. 
Um, okay, so moving forward. Um, Tillis is shocked and in horror of being outvoted. Uh, but after a moment of throwing a mini tantrum and blustering rage, he I realized he that he's been small, ousted. So, yeah. you know. he, he's been ousted, um, and he decides to leave the council a broken man, never to return. Wait, whoa. Uh -huh. oh. I'm going to spit on him as he leaves. <laughs> God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hey, he, he brought pros prosperity to this town. you got to realize no, that. I'm not going to spit yeah. on him. Yeah, I, I don't know if I want him to leave forever. Yeah, he, he, had no, a, he did good. <laughs> but can we, like, can we, like... Stop yeah. for a second, at least tell him, like, hey man, don't, like, give up about this one thing, just do it wrong for, like, a second. You still can bring prosperity, just don't lose just sight of... Just because you're the wrong ones. ...important things. Uh, he just, he just walks off. He's, he's been okay. shook to his core. He, he's questioning his own pluralities kind of thing, like, alright, which side of my life am I supposed to be on? Am I weighing too much in terms of making this town great but not worrying about the town he's having a a good kind of life crisis kind of thing so, okay, well, fuck okay. Let him, let him as long as it's good <laughs> yeah all right and feel like breaking the one man who was unfortunately good in this whole point <laughs> just gonna go up to him really quick just so he's not like totally fucking hating on himself just be like hey you know like prosperity is one good thing but it means nothing if people are dead this is a good yeah, choice a the town can still be prosperous <laughs> racist. <laughs> that doesn't make me racist. No, you're, you're just like talking wolves. to a dwarf, dwarven woman. Oh well. Uh. <laughs> the guy's gone. <laughs> they're they're all little people, but they're all different. Okay. Um, uh, but that's the campaign. Hey, thanks for tuning into this episode of Trust the Arrow. We hope you enjoyed the video and our shenanigans. If you did, consider throwing a like and a comment in the video and maybe click that subscribe button. We certainly appreciate you being here. Hope you tune in next time with us, and may your arrow fly straight and your aim be true.